guys. There's so many of you. Are they actually getting the gold here or something? What are you doing? Uh, that's Thorold's. Gonna try and juke it, we succeed. I think I'm still dead here. I might. Oh, thank you, Moja. That's... Oh! 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 So unfortunate, guys. So much chase. Damn, they're thirsty. What is up beautiful people, it's Sullivan here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Vulcan in Casual Conquest. Company here by what looks like an Willish in the jungle. We put down the turret on the speed buff and backed for the mana. So I asked him politely to make sure that it hits every single minion in the buff to just get everything. Looks like he's paying attention for that and as soon as he clears the buff we place our turret down. Get some initial hits. I hate when you can see the HP on the enemy mid. Happens way too often. This helps me clear. He's focusing on the turret, which is a wrong thing to do. We're just smacking it. Not risking for anything. We're going straight for the buff. Vulcan's clear is not as good to be aggressive for the enemy buff here. And Willish is clearing way too slow for her to be there to help me. They cleared out the wave. I think I missed one minion, but Willish got it, so it's not a big deal. Follow me. No. You can do that on your own. Oh, he's not, he's not going for it. Like, this man has no idea. He literally doesn't understand that he can solo the buff. Get some poke, not a big deal, but oh, good knock up. He's in trouble. I put down my tower. We got. I can get both of them. Oh, my turret didn't didn't hit him. Am I gonna choke? I am gonna choke. I don't know what the fuck was that. That was completely unnecessary. <laughs> I choked a bit, and he just decided to suicide. What was the point of that? I don't know. But it's casual, so it's fine. Just having some fun, chillaxing at our man Vulcan here. Gonna clear that fast and just straight up back. Hmm, nah, I don't like those odds. I'm gonna go for the mid. Come on, turret. I hate when that happens. That gonna cost me some HP here, no? Oh, you missed. What you doing? What are you all doing? <laughs> Can you guys stop? This is so weird. <laughs> Just, I'm a little bit poked out. You're acting like I'm almost dead. Be careful. I am in trouble here. I'm risking now. Oh, hello. Okay, yeah, now that's enough risk now. I wish I would have paid attention. She's not. But it's fine. We have enough for the full boots now, so it's totally fine. That was like the main point of this whole risk. I mean, we're still way, way ahead of the Merlin. We're level 5. He just hit level 3, and he's probably backing because a Willish can blink on him aggressively. Yeah, totally back in full boots here. I've actually decided to be fun about it and just go straight for Rata Tehuti. I got so much gold for it. So now we hit really hard for no reason whatsoever. And we're extremely susceptible to ganks. Let's just hold that thing over here and go straight for the red buff. With the Rata Tehuti, we insta clear the wave with that. That's fine. Stop with that guy. Looks like Thor ganked the dual lane, which is like, uh, understandable. Yes. We're level 6 to his level 4. We can play a little bit. Ooh, that was a bad turret. Still got it. Still got more poke on him than he did it on me. Mm, 
This should be a Thorold. Cannot really hear it just yet. I think he ulted the dual lane. That will make sense, right? Got the poke. Am I dead? I might be. Oh, he zoom. Okay, so that makes sense. Let's see if he does that thing. No, he's looking straight for me. I got one. <laughs> I still got one. We're leveling through the uh, one, by the way. Not through the turret, which might have been better. Oh, my man. You're about to die. I don't know why he's positioning himself so incorrectly. Whether he just disrespects me or doesn't know how to play against Vulcan, or just doesn't know how to play in general, I'm not sure. But it's casual, so we're just chillaxing here, no big deal. Oh, well, it's just ganking dual lane, which is nice, and we are gonna make sure that nothing funky is happening in the mid. Gonna push this out and go for the red buff, I assume. This should be enough to push the whole thing. Uh, you gonna start getting kills too, or...? Okay, hello Merlin. He just blinked. That was a bad thing to do. Why is the tower still on me? Can you walk out of it? He can walk out of it, huh? He has to walk out into me, but I had everything on cooldown, which is unfortunate. But he's still pretty poked out. Got him. That was a Thorold, so we're dying in a second. Yep, there you go. <laughs> I heard the Thorold, that's why the urgency. I had to kill him with that last one because I knew that I'm dying the next moment. And Thor hesitated just enough for me to be able to do that. If he ulted immediately, because usually as a Thor, you should ult with your target that you're planning to ult into in your vision, like in front of you. Then you just adjust the depth of the ult and you just immediately land. But he hesitated enough for me to murder the Merlin, which is nice, which is very welcome of him. You cannot do that, my man. My turret hurts. He lost half HP. Exchanges like this is what makes it really not work for him. Chang Chang's coming this way. He's showing that he has a ward there. A good support would have immediately deworded, and his BM would have not paid off. I think I can hit something? Nah. Little bit misplaced, just a tad bit. If I covered the whole um, distance inside the tower, I probably would have killed Merlin there. But I flicked it a little bit too hard, so... That's a shame. Got some decent damage on Emoja. But it's Emoja, she's gonna heal that up. Oh, hello guys. So many of you. Are they actually getting the gulf here or something? What are you doing? Uh, that's Thorold. Gonna try and juke it, we succeed. I think I'm still dead here. I might. Yeah, that's really bad. Oh, thank you Emoja. That's... Oh! Oh, oh, so unfortunate, guys. So much chase. Damn, they're thirsty. But it's fine with me. No red buff to secure, and we cannot really take the gold fury, so we're gonna back here. It's fine. However, it just felt like she did, right? She doesn't really block anything off of the her own teammates. They can walk past the wall, they can shoot through the wall. It just, yeah, it just felt like she saved me, but she didn't really do anything bad there. But I think they are not aware of that, and they just disengaged as soon as the wall came up and I was on the other side of it. I can't ult this, don't really want to. I have to do that, otherwise I might be in trouble of dying. What just happened there? He just ulted and she just didn't care. 
that's some high quality uh, high res coding uh, as per usual just get the wave and we back for some penetration we are kind of lacking in uh, cooldown department we were doing some decent damage, and we're also going for divine. Oh, Thor is behind me. I'm in a bit of trouble. They cannot really chase because my turret is here. That is not hurting him for some reason. Uh, Yemoja is just being dumb. <laughs> Look at this shit. She just stayed there being all sneaky. <laughs> God damn it. Like, she literally stands on the minions. It's not even a word like she didn't know about it. She, she stands on the minions thing. She's being all sneaks. Oh, hello, Thor. What you doing? That didn't work, huh? That would have been perfect if it did. But I had just too much HP, man. He should be dead. But I think he got out already. So it's not a big deal, too. Oh, you're an annoying man. She gonna murder me. That's Emoja. Yeah, she's very annoying like that. Doesn't have fucking cooldowns, doesn't have mana, can do shit like that all the time. So we got our red buff secured here. They're all in left lane and we should... No, never mind. I was pretty sure that they all are in left lane. Got the word here. Emoja's being annoying yet again. I don't know why I beached that. I got a little bit salty, <laughs> I guess. I'm going for jungle buff. She tried to zone me out of the wave and did not really succeed with any of that. Oh, he's out of mana. Oh, uh, it didn't connect. Enemies in right lane. Our whole team is like all around the place. Xing Cheng is killing himself alone there. Throwing them outside instead of throwing them into me. I mean, I guess. That was the time to throw them into me, but I guess he was just disengaging hard. Throwing them out and uh, dashing out. Not paying attention to the fact that we're around him and can murder people. With Thor down, we probably yeah we probably should engage that. We have good ward coverage, so this should be free. Nice job. Since this is down, we're gonna push out the wave first. Get some poke, but it doesn't matter. Oh, they're going all aggressive like that. Look at Emoja being an idiot again. Come on, dive a tower for me. Enemy missing right. Enemy. So that was a kind of a lot of poke on them. But the idea was here to grab the wave, grab the red and back away. Instead, I got poked out and now the fights are happening all around the place. But we're going to just do this and still back just as we planned. Because from all the actions of my team, that's not planned. That's just random shit happening all over the place. We're not missing out on anything. Of course, as soon as I back, there's a whole on engagements happening throughout the map by my whole team. I guess Afro had enough of being bullied and lynched, so she decides to join the fight. Honor is out of position. He just has one small leap in against the village, but she doesn't have an ult, so that's fair. However, he cannot know that, so... Bologna's here. She's about to ult us. So we're keeping our distance, disengaging, trying to poke them out while they're extending. Covering with the turret. That's Thor. We have to disengage, spread out a little bit. Here he lands, here he dies. My turret's still dealing immense damage to everyone, which is nice. Um, I think Honor is out of position. No, he still has his leap. Some damage on Emojis. She sees the only one I can reach. And we're gonna have our cooldowns back until we have a chance to shoot on someone else. They're healing up with Emoja, which is unfortunate. And we kind of have Afro, but it's just one by one. Let's cut them out with an ult. Good stuff. Xing Chang holds him just long enough for me to land the ult. I 
I have to keep distance away from Bologna. She can murder me with that HP. Thor is looking. Thor missed. Still waiting for that Bologna ult. Thor is tunnel visioning hard, so he gets poked out and he destroyed for that. Bologna is going down. No, Bologna is not going down. Bologna is Bologna. My favorite girl, Bologna, is not going down for shit like that. Hmm, somebody did rage quit. That was Thor, huh? Unfortunate. Why do they have to ruin a perfect game like that? Hmm. Hopefully he comes back soon enough. Poking out Emoja doesn't really do anything. She can heal it up and the poke is not significant enough. But since it's 5v4, we can bully them out again. Pretty easily. Until Thor comes back. I don't know why he would rage quit a game that is not as being lost as hard. Get some more poke. It's just 7k. Not like it's 27k. Oh, Balon is here. The bludgeon doesn't go through. That's thorns. I'm in trouble, nobody's paying attention, but we can juke that pretty easily. Get the bludgeon to the face. The team finally pays attention to her, but she's running now. Yeah. Meanwhile, while she fought me, the middle phoenix gets some attention from my team. Finally goes down. Kind of really engage into the titan because both of the tier 2s are up. But we can, what we can do is go for the gold fury here, but... Afro just wants some blood. And that's finally game. I was hoping that they were not gonna stretch it out with Thor rage quitting. We have 10 kills participation out of 17, which is well over a half. And we're obviously reporting Thor for ruining this game. But overall, it was quite enjoyable. Haven't played Vulcan in a while. Decided to just chillax in the casuals. So in terms of builds, uh, we started off stupid with going right out to Hoodie because we were just so much ahead. Uh, instead of should have went Boots and then into Chrono Spin, but sometimes you can just pick it up right out to Hoodie. Give, gives the same MP5 while giving so much more power. Divine Ruin because they have Emoja, Bologna, Honor who invested in Devotion, Merlin who is invested into Bancrofts. All of them suffer drastically from Divine Ruin kind of staple item plus the flat pen and power on the item kind of gives you the edge to pick it up even when they have no healing but when four of the characters trying to heal up you just you just go for it immediately chronos pendant because we are lacking cooldown next item probably would be chiron's coin and solar for additional penetration and just to round out this power because we're not building any tanky sustain a lot of health build we're building into full power so Getting some penetration even more power on these two items would be preferable. In terms of kill participation, we're 10 out of 17. Merling is a part of 3. <laughs> he also builds into Bankrots with the cooldown boots. Both are really wrong. Invest into cooldown, you start off with a Chrono Spend, it's a stronger start now. And if you're for some reason investing into Bancrofts, you should go for the Lifesteal boots as well to drive that point home. This way he's trying to catch both birds. Both stars basically, lifesteal star is a Bancroft's lifesteal boots and uh, cooldown star is uh, cooldown boots with Cronus pendant. So we had a kind of have both of those things and that's not how you build. In terms of damage, I'm obviously way way top in the field. Um, we are damaging the enemy Merlin mid 
by twice the amount. Comparatively, the words nobody has placed like tragically low amount, except for like enemy honor who didn't exhaust his free word. But overall, everybody worded to some extent is a 20 minutes game, not a lot of time has passed, so this amount of wording is okay. In terms of damage, uh, compa comparatively, Xing Chang to Yamoja, but damages are twice the amount. Solo laners, same shit. The junglers, almost the same shit. And ADCs are, well, he's getting out damage by half of his amount, so Ur is doing a great job as well. But overall, me with 22k, it's just way too much comparatively to anyone else on the field so i take that as a yes for me <laughs> carrying this game pretty hard but it's understandable some casual match when i just wanted to enjoy playing vulcan because he's not very strong in the ranked meta right now just chillaxing and hopefully you guys enjoyed that chill video of me playing vulcan I haven't played him in a while i just wanted to feel that void in my channel of playing vulcan because it's a really strong mage that i do enjoy and he's pretty pretty fun to play and if you want to specialize in, in him really hard you can still pull off some good games and ranked and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you're new to the channel please subscribe if you want to ask me a question leave a comment i respond to every single comment on my channel if you like the video, do leave a like on the video. It helps YouTube to spread my content to other people, which is much appreciated. Ring that notification bell for the same idea. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.